Hey, what's going on YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to be demonstrating the performance of the NetDuma R1 gaming router. NetDuma is a UK-based company and they have sponsored me with a review sample for testing. To preemptively answer the questions about conflict of interest, I will give this disclaimer. I received no monetary compensation for this review and one of the terms of the contract that I had signed was that I had to have complete freedom of honesty in expressing what I felt about the product. So what makes a gaming router a gaming router? With many electronics and headsets are the worst offenders, the gaming branding is just exactly that. The branding, but with cost and performance, significantly below comparative value to other electronics without the gaming branding. Does the NetDuma R1 continue the trend of overpriced peripherals with gaming branding, or are its features actually worth paying the premium for instead of opting for a more budget-minded option? The packaging, as you've seen, is super minimalistic with only the router AC adapter, a CAT6 cable, and a quick start guide. NetDuma isn't the OEM for the router itself. There is nothing fancy about the actual electronics. NetDuma specializes in software development and they do little, if any, hardware development. The actual components of the router are made by Microtech, a Latvian company. In designing their product, NetDuma looked for a router that has specifications that could reliably run their software at a reasonable price, and they decided to obtain a license to use the router board RB951G-2H, lowercase n, D, to build the NetDuma R1. In future, it is possible that their software could be utilized on different models of router and it may be in the works to use their software with your existing router, but this is just conjecture on my part. So without further ado, let's go ahead and set up the NetDuma. First, you need to connect an ethernet cable into the port marked PoE. You can use the cable provided by NetDuma or realistically, you can use any ethernet cable. And we are going to be plugging the other end of the cable into the ISP modem. Any other previous devices that you had plugged into your ISP modem can now be plugged into the NetDuma, which essentially just uses your ISP modem as a pass-through. And once you power on the NetDuma, you get the beeping. If you've done everything correctly, you should get internet back on the device you previously had your ethernet connected to. And you also have the option of connecting to the NetDuma network wirelessly. I wasn't lying when I said the hardware was nothing fancy. The router board has a 600 megahertz CPU, 128 megabytes of RAM, and five gigabit ethernet ports, one WAN and four LAN. The biggest crutch to performance optimization is how it has 802.11 BGN support on 2.4 gigahertz instead of the faster five gigahertz Wi-Fi. But again, the specifications aren't the main selling point of the router, the gaming oriented features are. Arguably the strongest feature, but less relevant for recently released games, is the geofilter, where you can draw a radius around where you live for distances of allowable online game hosts. There's also ping assist, which will allow a host that gives you ping that falls below your specified amount, even if they fall outside your radius. In the allow deny function, you can even rate hosts, blacklisting those who give you a bad connection. There are less than honorable ways to use the host deny function, but I'm not going to go into detail at the risk of giving out ideas and ruining the feature. Even on consoles, since a lot of games have gotten more dedicated servers relative to P2P, this feature is less relevant for Black Ops 3 than for Advanced Warfare. However, it does add peace of mind for better connections. A feature that will be a major selling point for streamers is device prioritization. You can adjust the upload and download bandwidth allocation for each device connected to the router. This feature is similar to already existing software Game First that comes with the Asus ROG motherboards. The anti-flood functionality goes hand in hand with device prioritization and allows you to maintain optimal gaming connections even if other activities are going on your network. The way this works is by limiting non-gaming traffic to a certain percentage of bandwidth, like 
so you always have free bandwidth for your games. The one-click VPN feature allows you to quickly set up a latency-free secure connection. Unfortunately, the only VPN provider supported at this time is Hide My Ass. The heavy streamers will benefit most from this feature, as it is a measure of insurance against DDoS attacks. Rounding out the features are observational tools like the Device Monitor, which allows you to see all network devices and their data usage. Also, for PC games, you can look deeper into connection stats, such as ping stability and packet loss. The NetDuma R1 costs $199. Yes, you heard that correctly. The most important question out of this review is, at the end of the day, is upgrading to the NetDuma R1 going to improve your gaming experience to make it worth the price point? There is no one-size-fits-all answer. Your potential benefit depends on your current gaming setup, goals, and expectations. I cannot emphasize enough the importance of having realistic expectations. As with any gaming peripheral, you can't expect it to improve your KD by 0.5 overnight. No legal product on this planet can. You have to think of any potential improvements holistically instead of on a game-by-game -game basis. If you already have an optimal internet connection with fast speeds and low device traffic, then you will see minimal benefit, if any at all. If you already can get into servers that give you a 40 millisecond ping, I guarantee you won't notice a difference from servers that give you a 10 millisecond ping. If you do, it's a placebo effect. For me, I live in an apartment with my dog, I have high performance internet, and I play on PC servers, so I may have dropped my average ping by 10 to 15 milliseconds, which isn't all that impressive. If there were any improvements in hit detection and net code, then it was likely placebo instead of an actual improvement due to having the NetDuma. One guarantee for when you buy the NetDuma is that you cannot ever legitimately complain about net code again. I would recommend you consider buying the NetDuma if you are already making money gaming either through competitive esports or streaming, or you have an imminent potential to make money for gaming. You have to really be honest with yourself as to whether you fall into the latter category. Potentially making money from gaming doesn't mean you had your YouTube channel for a week, made an intro, and started spamming your channel on every common thread. It means you have put literally hundreds of hours into establishing yourself as a content creator or a marketable streaming brand. The professional gaming sector depends on consistency. It is a headache for a streamer anytime they have a network problem. As a streamer, you don't want to have to worry about the technical details. You want to focus on being entertaining. As a competitive esports player, you can't have any outlying interference with your gaming, so the NetDuma can provide that extra layer of peace of mind. The level of consistency the NetDuma gives is almost like playing over LAN. I will reiterate though that if you aren't already skilled at a professional level, you can't buy the NetDuma thinking you're going to obtain professional esports level of performance by using it. Professional gamers are already playing at such a level that they seek to benefit from the subtle advantage the NetDuma provides. The second group of gamers I recommend but at a slightly lower priority consider the NetDuma are those who live in multi-device households and have to share their connections with others like roommates. The performance difference of having the NetDuma could potentially be like night and day, but it could also be like noon and 4pm. You can buy a lot of other peripherals for the $199 price tag. Honestly, if you aren't already making money from gaming, it is a very questionable investment as you would probably get more enjoyment and a better gaming experience from a new quality headset, mouse, and keyboard combined for the price. If you are like me and are on stable quality connections, then you won't gain much benefit at all, especially when playing over PC servers. If you're only a casual gamer, meaning you don't make money from gaming, not meaning you have less dedication to gaming, you still probably won't find $199 of value from the NetDuma. Even if you play as many as 30 hours a week in online multiplayer, I still can't see you getting a return on investment especially since P2P game hosting is less common. Another argument against buying the NetDuma for PC is the lack of direct game support. There are only a few PC games supported directly currently. NetDuma has kept the support to the most populous and competitive games. As NetDuma grows as a company, they might be able to support more games, but the current offerings are a pittance. 
One thing I can guarantee with your purchase of the Netduma is outstanding customer service. In all my interactions I've had with Netduma, they've displayed the highest level of communications professionalism. They have a forum dedicated to discussing the Netduma's performance, and the support staff are very active and helpful in posting new topics and replies to users. In all of their social media interactions with the community, they have been extremely friendly and are committed to a satisfied consumer base. As of the writing of this review, the router is only available to buy on the Netduma website. They've kept sales at a minimum to ensure that they have the manpower to support the software and that the software works flawlessly before selling through other retailers. Netduma is headed in the right direction in designing router features optimized for gaming, but the appeal is still extremely limited. The product works great and does all that it advertises but few gamers are invested enough to make the $199 purchase price seem remotely attractive. It is the best option for professional esports players and streamers, but it is an expensive paperweight to anyone else. Thank you very much for watching my review on the NetDuma R1 gaming router. Please be sure to check out the NetDuma website and all of their social media pages. Another big thank you goes out to NetDuma for sponsoring me with the review product. My name is David and I will see you next video.